which Malcolm, is... Malcolm, mm? obviously I'd interrupt, but is it possible for John perhaps to answer one or two of those certainly, points? Certainly. Otherwise we're going to have certainly. nine points unanswered. But... Yes, it's building up the list a bit. But I mean, the, the, the problem that we... No, seriously, the problem yes. that, we, that we have got is, is that you think that we're ridiculing Jesus. Mm. And we say... Um, sort of sincerely and truthfully that that is certainly not what we intended to do and I believe that we're not and I can best answer that I think by answering um, Alvin's question which is that um, what were we trying to do and I think it, it comes out it was spelled out perhaps rather too plainly rather too banally at one point when he says make up your own mind don't let other people tell you and we would Absolutely deny, at least I would, that there was any attempt to say you should not believe in Christ. What we're saying is take a critical view, find out about it, don't just believe because somebody tells you to. Somebody in the pulpit says something, question it, work it out yourself. You're seriously suggesting that if someone saw that film, say a young mm -hmm. kid who knew nothing about mm -hmm. the Gospels or about history, mm -hmm. that the figure of Christ that would emerge from it, this story of the Incarnation, would be a noble one, um, would be... He would have to yes. sort it out for himself. And, you and he, would, he would have to, for example, work out, I mean, does one accept every word in the Bible? In a mm. sermon on the map, did they get it all right when Mark mm. wrote it down 30 years later? Well, I mean, was... was <laughs> it all right? But is the film likely to be seen by anybody who doesn't know an awful lot about Jesus Christ? Uh, 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 most certainly it is today. Uh, if you have it for children of 14 today, <laughs> you will find that the many, many children of 14 today, thanks to the secular nature of the education they're receiving, know nothing about it at all. And they would see this figure I think in the light I, in which he appears yeah. in this film, you see. It's no good you cheating yourselves. Yeah. You can't have it both ways. You produce this particular... Uh, film which arouses bursts of laughter, as I said earlier, rather easily procured. But uh, don't imagine that someone seeing that is going to go away with the concept of the founder of the Christian religion and all that that meant to mankind uh, in any way corresponding to what history or the Gospels or anything else is presented. Well, it's not supposed to be about it, so people shouldn't go yes, but and see no it to learn it. that it's not about it's it. Not just I'm not being dishonest. I mean, I don't being utterly dishonest, my dear Yeah, I mean, I don't know whether, where this will get us, but I, I feel my approach to the film is I, I was confused. I, I feel I'm still asking questions, seeking solutions. I am very confused and perturbed by a religion, an established religion in this country, where people can go into church on a Sunday morning, and the same people can sing hymns and say prayers, and at the same time these people can stand by while their money is spent making bombs, making guns, building up appalling weapons of destruction, can sit by, sing hymns, say their prayers, and agree with a policy in which uh, hospitals have to go without money. First of all, I'd very much like to know where you'll get your evidence. You must give me chapter and verse. So it happens that immediately before coming here, I was asked by crowds of church people if I would stand up for the, uh, for the councils of the, the, the health of, the, of, the, of St. Olive's Hospital, which the government is trying to close. The church is extremely active in, in, these, uh, in, in these fields. And I would urge you not to make these careless generalizations, no, I, which I, are not dependent on evidence. Now, I what, make them in all humility. I'm uh, seeking answers and solutions. I'm not saying this is absolutely uh, the way it is, but I have observed well, people... I'm saying it's no, well, sure, I mean, what you were saying, I mean, it's, it's, it's great, but it's sure rubbish. Uh, well, and you made a ridiculous generalization which is unworthy of an educated man. Now, having said this, back to what you say, somebody aged 14 coming and seeing this thing of Jesus, what you are seeing is not one of the greatest teachers in the world. I mean, granted, lots of people, the majority of people wouldn't accept him as the son of God as I do, but surely most of us would see him as one of the greatest teachers of the world. Now, you wouldn't guy Socrates or make him appear as a clown. And what I think Maybe this there are film, funny things about it. What? Maybe there are funny things about Socrates. Why shouldn't we make jokes about well, Socrates? Well, if there are certain aspects of the world, you have not Socrates. No, that's not my so point. Socrates I don't know enough about Socrates. also was Maybe murdered. He was, he was made, to, uh, made to drink poison. 
You wouldn't guy him at that point or make him appear as a clown. And what I say, and I'm afraid you won't offer my conviction, John, over this, is that this is what is to a Christian the most sacred moment of the whole Jesus experience, namely his death, that at that most sacred moment he was guyed and made to look as a clown. What May I make him? another point this here, which is rather interesting, that if you'd made that film, about, if you'd made that film about Mohammed, you see, there would have been an absolute hullabaloo in this country. Um, mm -hmm. Because, the, and the, all the sort of, um, you know, the racial, anti-racialist people would have risen up in their might. The same people who would approve of this and would have said this is quite disgraceful. And behind people's minds would be the thought of maybe they might lose a bit of oil, you know by doing it. But, the, but you see the but difference. You're right, Malcolm. I mean, 400 years ago, we would have been burnt for this film. Now, I'm suggesting that we've made an advance. Mm -hmm. And I'm suggesting... <laughs> I'm, I'm suggesting that compared with other presentations of this great event, the incarnation, uh, you have not made an advance. And that anybody in the future who might dredge up this miserable little film, and it's quite possible they might, as a piece of social history, uh, they would certainly not uh, wish to relate it to the, the thing, say, Chart Cathedral, which is, which is built to the, glory of, to the glory of Christ. Not a funny building, actually. <laughs> but they might want to compare it with 40 towers. Yes, they're not even an, intended to be a funny building. Well, it has the gargoyles on it, you know. Michael, Michael. I think that, uh, and I've seen this in the sort of reviews of the film, they concentrate always on the religious angle. Uh, even, you know, before they've seen it, they've decided this is a film about religion. I don't think it is entirely. I think that what we've chosen to do is what we've always done in Python. We've done for three series, we've done for three films. We have taken a certain group of people, which are generally sort of England in the present day, and put them into a historical context. I think that's what we've done with this film. I think it isn't entirely about religion. It's about the people who live in... A anyone who lives and makes up uh, our society today. It's also about closed systems of thought, whether they're political or theological or religious, whatever. Systems by which whatever evidence is given to the person, he merely adapts it, mm. fits it into his ideology. You show the same event to a Marxist and a Catholic, for example, they both of them find, they both have explanations of it. I mean, it's what to be pompous poppers on about with falsifiability of theories. I mean, once you've got, actually got, um, an idea that is whirring round so fast that no other light or contrary evidence can come in, then I think it's very dangerous. I don't think it's dangerous to someone like Malcolm, because he's actually a very nice man. But I think he is the sort of guy that this film is actually having a go at, because I don't think that there's any evidence that can come to him now that is going to make him rethink, think, am I right? Am I making a mistake? Well, um, you can leave that out. Um, I think I could say with utter sincerity that there was nothing in this particular film that would lead me to uh, want to change conclusions that I've reached after living for 76 years in this world. Is there anything? Uh, That's the point I make. Well, in this film there was nothing that could possibly, because the, the film itself bore so little... No, but the point I was making, Mark, yes. was not the film. Forget the mm. film. We'll say yes. that's rubbish. Okay. Is there anything that can happen to you now oh, that could certainly. cause you to but change your mind? Of course, every single person uh, who is alive and spiritually alive uh, is constantly reviewing his faith. I do not believe for a moment that there is a definitive faith, and you say, there it is. But there's nothing in this little squalid number that could possibly uh, affect any, anybody. Now, in that sense, I give you Might this you point. Not? I give I you this point that. that there's nothing in this film that could possibly destroy anybody's genuine faith. Nope, no, that no, I no, grant you no, absolutely, absolutely not, right. uh, because it's much too tenth rate for that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, um, but what I still contend is that someone who is young, 14 years old, seeing that without any particular background, might really imagine that that buffoonery is an expression yes. of this great episode. Well, which... you see, I, I was also, you talked about the presentation of Christianity. I mean, I went to an English preparatory school and an English public school, Clifton College, the Sports Academy. I Western sympathize Academy. with you. <laughs> I, was, I was given eight or ten years, ten years, of a form of Christianity which I grew to despise and mm -hmm. dislike. 
largely it insulted my intelligence. The sermons that were given at the age of 11 and 12, I felt insulted my intelligence. When I got into writing this film, and we all had exactly the same reaction, we started to discover mm. a lot of stuff about Christianity, and I started to get angry. Because I started to think, why was I given this rubbish, this tenth-rate series of platitudes, <laughs> when there were interesting things to have discussed? Mm. There were factual and things. And nobody, ever told, me, you nobody ever told me that they don't know what language mm. the Gospels were written mm. in, yeah, that they don't even know who wrote them, mm. and they're not even sure what cities they were well, written in. Well, then you in. must have read very superficially at your school. Uh, That's your, look, John, it's very bad luck for you, but you see, I used to go to Clifton College to preach very often when you were there. <laughs>